gonna get on the highway and do our first pull with the 88 millimeter pulley on E85, first wide open throttle pull. And here we go. It's, I don't I don't I don't even know I don't know how to explain what he's doing but the car feels stupid quick one day left guys one day left to enter the giveaway stangmode.com I'm helping out a friend giving him a shout out giving him some love but guys we are like 24 hours out and then it's all over the 24th of this month of July 2021 get your entries in guys I love this is his eighth giveaway I wish that I could enter myself I can't unfortunately but you can don't miss your opportunity to win but use promo code Xander 13 at checkout save a couple of dollars maybe you could buy some other entries with it but guys it's all over in just a day get your interest in stangmode.com all right guys let's give our giveaway number eight the test it needs this is a whipple supercharged drag mode mustang which you can win by going to stangmode.com for one dollar entry but now it's time it's time to put up or shut up it's time to see what this can do with the drag strip 90 degree heat All right, guys, we did it. How you like that? 10.5 in this heat. That's faster than a stock Hellcat and faster than the 2020 D500, which is like, these are almost $100,000 cars, where you can get this car for just $1. Go to stangmo.com, grab some merch, and to win this killer. Promo code Xana13. All right, now let's dive into our video. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I left you guys hanging in the last video. We had some problems with the PCM. We thought we lost it. We we're doing a data transfer for a, a new file update with Wingard Performance as our new tuner. What ended up happening is it took the tune successfully. If you guys saw the last video, if you haven't, go catch up on it so you know what's going on. But we lost all the transmission data from the PCM. And unfortunately, there is only one fix to that. And you have to go see a mechanic, a Ford mechanic with access to IDS. So that's what we did in the last couple of days was uh, spent a lot of money, rented a truck, bought a trailer, bought a laptop, bought an RTD device. Another cool thing is it loads tunes in like under one minute. It's super fast. So about $1,200 in for a little mistake. It's unfortunate, but we got the car back home yesterday. We took it on the road, do some half throttle hits. I did not record it because I wanted to save our full throttle data logging for you, for the camera. Let's go. It is common, but not so common. It just, it can happen. But unfortunately, yes, you do have to take your car to the dealership and they wipe the PCM pretty much clean, reload all the data, which was cool because we got a new calibration from Ford. So we have a new stock file that Wingard Performance was able to build off of. My buddy Ken at HPR was able to load in the new uh, shift strategy or the old shift strategies and all is good to go. The car feels fantastic because we are now on E85 with our 88 millimeter pulley and get ready because I think in the next video, we're gonna step it up a notch. I think in the next video, we're probably going to be pulling down already. So there's our 88 millimeter massive pulley on our Odin supercharger. But yes, I think in the next video, we're gonna go to a nice new fancy 75 millimeter pulley, which is kind of like a 2.8 for all those that wonder from Grip Tech and should give us about 16 or 17 pounds of boost and be saucy. Right now, we're only about 12 or so. Watch how fast this goes. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. With an N gauge, this takes like six minutes this whole process and this is writing look how fast this is going under one minute I mean this thing is crazy the other cool thing too and I'll show you in a second why I think the RTD is like maybe worth the money over an engage is the PIDs with the engage you can only select up to like 20 PIDs which your tuners use for tuning right to, to look at things that, that your vehicle is doing with the RTD you have like 100 or something like that maybe even more but you're gonna get a better tune with the RTD. This is like what the big tuners use. But look at this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. For the data logging to start scanning, I'm gonna click that and see everything come to life down here. Look how cool that is. So pretty fancy, a lot more you can do with this than like the, the other devices out there. You just need a computer, an HP computer, a Windows computer to do this. When you're done scanning, you're gonna go to the blue stop scanning right there. 
and then you'll come over here to save and then you'll save it as a file and then you'll be able to send that off to your tuner we are officially logging it's kind of funky because we have a cable coming across my lap that's like the only bad negative thing about this but we are going to get on the highway and do our first pull with the 88 millimeter pulley on e85 first wide open throttle pull and we have the go ahead from the tuner to do so I'm very excited this should feel this should this should be like 800 horsepower so it should be it should feel completely different a bunch of timing is added with the 85 you know this fuel doesn't detonate so we're good to go i'm excited we're going to make sure that we have all of our traction control off always always do that and never go what until your your tuner tells you that you can do so i've been more than impressed with wingard is the the new tuner i'm guys links down below in the description i don't want to take business away from anybody but i will say that i've been tuned by other companies nothing wrong with them my experience though especially for transmission tuning has been far better with winger it's crazy this is a lot more sensitive the throttle is a lot more touchy supercharger will put down 700 maybe a little bit underneath of that with our 5.2 block we actually put down 744 but without ice on the street I imagine we're running around probably 720 ish but I, I really want to know I'd be curious to know like what kind of power is this thing putting out now with the 85 on this pulley that felt good it didn't feel mind-blowingly different uh, it felt healthy Again, at the end of the day it's only like 12 or 13 pounds so this engine will take like 1400 so it is time to definitely pull it down we have a 75 millimeter grip tech like i said and the 69 back in the garage i think we're going to go to 75 it's kind of the the middle of the ground the 69 grip tech will give us about 21 pounds around that ballpark with a stock harmonic balancer we don't have an overdrive like 10 percent 15 20 percent overdrive yet but I wanted something for the street that's kind of middle of the road, 16, 17 pounds, the 75 millimeter, which is about a 2.8 uh, inch pulley, uh, should give us everything that we want and still be somewhat pretty much safe for the transmission. It is a built transmission, but they do like to do weird things at about 900 to 1,000 horsepower. So I think we're gonna be right there at about 850 to 900. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. We will probably dyno test on the 75. really good but let's just be aggressive with it now 
So I'm done with the RTD. I can just simply disconnect it from the car. Click in the black car. Now it's disconnected. I can unplug the RTD device from the ODD2 port, right? I have my files saved to send off to email to the tuner. And if I want to still use my engage to monitor, I can. Now this one is still married to this vehicle, still will tune. But given the hiccup that we had before, we're not going to use this anymore for tuning. I, I love, this is great. I don't even know if we need to like pull it down. This is so great. It's so fast. Now fuel trim, short and long term is what I typically watch. Lambda, I watch my spark, I watch my fuel pressure. Uh, me, that's just me anyway. Everybody kind of watches their own thing, but that's what I like to watch to, to see the health of the engine. I want to see what the fuel and the spark and all that stuff is doing in real time. And I can still do that with the N-gauge. So I'm not going to get rid of it, is what I'm saying. Um, but they don't make these anymore. So Now, if you're still here hanging in the video, I appreciate that very much. Please subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Got to make sure it's checked so you don't miss content. But I want to say before we end, there's going to be another video at some point coming up here soon. I want to give it some time and effort to try to explain what's happening in S-Boat. So... With Wingard, we still have our normal drive modes, and they work just the same. Uh, they're just tuned up like you would expect. But what he does is he, he does some fancy stuff with the transmission and the power and everything in S mode. So when you go to drive, you can click down into S mode again. Now, if you use your paddles, remember you got to go back to drive, go to S mode because it'll lock them in. But the trick is, just put it in S mode and don't touch your paddles. Don't use these to to change. Uh, just drive the car like so sensitive. It's like bouncing. It's crazy. Um, he does something fancy in S mode. I don't know. The car feels fast in the other modes. But in S mode, it is completely different night and day. It's not like a little better. It is substantially better. It's it's something. It's I don't I don't I don't even know. I don't know how to explain what he's doing. But the car feels stupid quick, as it should. So anyway, I don't know. We'll we'll put together a video trying to explain like my experience with that whole thing. But it's it's nuts. It is absolutely brilliant. But guys, that's the video. I appreciate you watching. That's our first Watt Hits, official Watt Hits with E85 in this engine configuration with this pulley. Now it's time to pull it down. But I appreciate all you guys watching again. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to... It's so much fun. This is so much fun. All right, we're going to park in the garage. All right, we're back in the garage. And the camera just went dark. There we go. All right, I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye.